Champ, um, wh- who, what dream fight that could have been made during your career that never George happened? George Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you about that one, too. How do you see that one going down? I was knocking him out. I was knocking him out. I begged George Foreman to fight me a hundred times. I begged him. You hear me? And we had a guy to put up some money. And then at the last minute, the guy pulled it down and put up, put on the fight. But the reason why I like George Foreman and because he he always looked down on me, at me. He looked down at me like I was nothing. You know, I said, George, yeah, you're making money. You made a lot of money and everything. I said, but money don't make me. I make money, you know. I said, I got my help. I make some money, you know. But if you want to fight, we get it on. So he never wanted to get on because I had the style of, to beat him like Muhammad Ali did. I moved I, side to side. I get him tired. I hit him with that jab all night long. And hit him with that right hand all night long. Because he still couldn't go 10 rounds. It's a four or five round fighter. Because he's going to be trying to kill you with everything. And he's going to be wore out the time the fifth round come. But fighters did not have to do that. There's only a couple of fighters made him do that. That was Jimmy Young was one of them. And, and uh, I was there when Ali, when Jimmy Young beat him over there in Puerto Rico. And he seen the, the devil and every damn thing else. And he wasn't a, he wasn't a fighter. He was not the fighter who had the heart that everybody else thought he had, but one of the things he had was bullshit. He had a lot of that. He he talked his way in it, but, you know, he would never back it up. And I tell him that today. I don't have no problem telling George Foreman that he was nothing in my book. And if anybody rang him number one over me or number two over me or three over me or ten over me or eleven over me, they got to be out there mine, you know? Yeah. Now, Larry, to follow up on that, you were pretty much talking maybe about facing a young George Foreman, but um, later in your career, back in 1999, the the birthday bash was almost made. I think uh, Foreman was going to get $8 million yourself, somewhere around three. What happened to that fight? Why did it uh, not come together? Well, the guy the guy did not put up the rest of the money because they thought George Foreman would run away. George Foreman had a... Uh, <clears throat> thinking that he get the money and he don't fight, you know, and make excuses not to fight. Uh, I was ready. I don't fought George Foreman with one hand. I wouldn't care because I thought I could beat George. And I wanted to beat him because he always wanted to be bigger and better and smarter than all the fighters. He wanted to be the man. He wanted to be a Muhammad Ali but didn't have the charisma to be Muhammad Ali. <laughs> 